Pass to Bird. Here's Havlicek. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. And you know what? Tried to step in and cut him off. It just didn't get there quick enough. It's the first, and that gives them the lead. And so he drops them both. It's a two-point ball game. Fantastic job stepping up and knocking those two down. That's got to be a huge confidence builder. Three-pointer, Bird. Westbrook pulls it in. Westbrook's got four rebounds in this game. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Here's Zubac. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. And the Clippers lead by four. Poor interior defense. If you play him soft, he's going to kill you. They double-team Bird. Here's the pass to Garnett. Here's Kuzi. On the wing, Havlicek. Pass to Kuzi. Leonard with the steal. And now the fast break. George with the ball. Knocked loose. For three, Pierce. Rebound by the Clippers. You know, the ill-advised threes isn't how you want to close the gap. You've got to have better. Oh, hold on! Yeah, you got to up on that one. No moment is ever too big for Paul George. He remains confident in the clutch. That one's good, and the Clipper lead is cut down to three on the bucket from Pierce. And really, Pierce has made so many important baskets in his career. Whenever his team needs a bucket, he steps into the spotlight. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. So we'll see Russell Westbrook go to the line here. It's on Larry Bird. And here we go. A coach's challenge has been initiated. I have to now review the personal foul in question. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, the previous play is, it is so review. fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology. We've seen replay reviews so effectively, and involving the coaches by being able now to challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. We're double checking, and the game continues on. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, the head coach for Boston had some instruction for the guys during the timeout. He told them, don't look at the scoreboard. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. One play at a time. Execute the game plan. That's how we're going to win this game. Kevin, he's trying to keep him focused. All right, David, thanks. And that tacks another big point onto the lead. Great in one play showing us now a little bit of that killer instinct. Bird way outside. It's held in by Zubac. Now the Clippers with it, and now they decide to foul intentionally. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Second one is good, and both at the line, and it's an eight-point game. And, Craig, it looks like time is going to run out on them here. Yeah, I mean, unless they come up with an absolute miracle. Westbrook with it. Outside Leonard. Back to Westbrook. So the Clippers with the win. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And that about wraps it up for Steve Smith. Greg Anthony and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Russell Westbrook.